Hey y'all, it's me, Michael Mitchell. Back with another, back with another video. My topic for this video is Diddy versus Mace. So, Diddy was at the Breakfast Club with Charlamagne the God, DJ Envy, and Angela E. They they were asking or they they were speaking about Mace and the question about how much does Mace owe you? And then he said, 30 million, 3 million, or 30 million, whatever he just said. And he mentioned something about he was not going to play with Mace. And he called Mace a fake pastor. And Mace responded to that, saying that, oh, not to mention that, did he mention about him having receipts over Mace? And Mace responded. Mace respond to Diddy saying that how dare you mention about receipts he, he actually said that but he said something about that but he mentioned about his mom your mama had receipts and then he brought up Craig Mack Biggie and Black Rob they also have receipts but they but they, but all three of them are deceits. So, the topic of my video is, I'm going to have to re I do agree with what D says. Sometimes, Mace come off as a fake pastor, in my opinion. When he retired from rap back in 99, and he came back to rap in, in 04, with welcome back. Not a good. I mean, it's a good song, but I got a question for that. I'm confused. I'm. I'm actually confused with that. Do you want to be a rapper or do you want to be a pastor? But you gave that up. You gave rapping up for Christ, and you can't do that. You can't serve two masters. You got you. You got to love the one or hate the other, because you gave up hip hop for Christ. You know, because when you give up hip hop for Christ, you're going somewhere. You're, you're going somewhere with your life. You're bettering your life. Sometimes I wonder, but you like, do you want to be a rapper or do you want to be a pastor? You can't, you can't serve two masters. And then he ended up, and then he ended up being with Gene Unit and did he try to keep him from that? Trying to hold him, trying to hold, try to keep him hostage for being with 50 Cent and G-Unit back in the day. It's just hard, you know. It, it's hard. It, 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 you ain't no telling what, ain't no telling what, ain't no telling what you think of this dude. You know, sometimes, he, like, he does come off as a fake pastor. I can't really take him seriously. Even though I never heard him preach. But I, I don't know if I want to hear him preach, I, you know, because I can't take him seriously as a pastor, you know, you, because you, because you, he's a type that likes to jump ships. Sometimes, sometimes you can, sometimes you want to be a rapper, you'll, you'll hear freestyle songs from him. You can find some of them on YouTube if, if you're, if you're lucky. And he'll jump ships from, he'll jump ships. He'll jump right back into pastor. He'll jump right back, jump right back into church preaching. You may find some him preaching on YouTube. I don't, I don't know. You know, it's hard to tell what this dude sometimes, but I do have to agree with some of he some of the things that he said about Mace being a fake pastor because I haven't heard him preach. I don't know what to expect. I don't, I don't know. It's hard sometimes. You know, it's really hard, but. But Diddy, on the other hand, should be the last person to say to call somebody a fake pastor when you have been fake yourself. Look, I'm not. I don't have anything against Diddy. You know, I took him seriously. I'm. I was the one that took him ser seriously as a rapper. I like. I, there's some, there's a couple of songs I like from Diddy. Like that D song, the D, the I, the D, the D, the Y with Perel. That was a good song. And 
Public Enemy 2000. That was a good song. Bad Boy for Life. That's a good song too. I, I took and one of my favorites is Come With Me. We did that soundtrack for Godzilla. We did that Godzilla movie. We did that soundtrack for the movie Godzilla back in '98. That was a good song. But he did a sample. But he did a. He did a sample from that song by featuring. Jimmy Page. That was his song at first. But he borrowed that song from Jimmy Page. I don't know what type of deal they had with that song, but it was good. He 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 had him on the he had him on the video. There are a lot. Of, there are a lot of good things that he did in his past that other people who criticize him don't speak about. But he took advantage of a lot of his artists over the years. Over the years, took advantage of them, and I feel like he didn't really. He didn't deserve that award, that BET Lifetime Achievement Award, because he took. A, he was a. He was not a very good businessman, in my opinion. He was not. He was not. He was not a very good businessman. Cause he took advantage of his artists. Cause he had the most talented artists, but you don't hear from him anymore. Like the mo one of the most talented rappers that from that from Bad Boy was G Depp. We did the song "Let's Get It." He was a good, ra he was an awesome rapper, straight out of Harlem. But he's in jail now for a murder rap that he was involved in back in '93. And he was talented, man. He was he was a talented artist. Black Rob, Mace, The Locks, Total, Dream. He took a the band. He took advantage of a lot of his artists. And he mentioned something about he never he never stole something for life, but you but you stole from your artists too. You took advantage of them. Speaking of the band, he he had the band, and then he had the the audacity to make the band walk all the way walk all the way from New York to Brooklyn to go get him a cheesecake. I remember that scene from making the band, but a lot, but four four members. Four members, four members of the band. I'm not from, I'm not from New York. One of them from Miami. One of them from New Orleans. One from from Detroit. One of them from Philly. The only two, the only two people, are from New York. Was Babs and Dylan. And he took advantage of them too. He took advantage of a lot of people. A lot of them that he promised to make stars, make them superstars, but you never heard from them again. They disappeared. They call they call that the bad boy curse. You're gonna be a, you're gonna be the biggest stars. You're gonna be the biggest stars of the world, but you're not gonna hear from them again. Like Cheryl Dennis, she's from she she was an artist from Bad Boy. She she had one song with Jim Jones, but you never heard from her again. Daddy, Daddy King, Daddy King, Day Twenty Six, they were talented people, but you never heard from them again. He had Young Jock, but but Young Jock ended up leaving, ended up leaving his label. He had, he had, he had a rap group. That G that young that Jeezy was a part of him, but Jeezy ended up leaving the group. Jeezy ended up leaving the group and the and Diddy's label for for some other reason. Which I'm glad he did because that was bad boy curse. He don't need to be involved in that. He took advantage of a lot of people in his in his in his label. And he had an audacity. He had an audacity to say that. Mace owe him money, but you also owe a lot of money to your artists too. That you took advantage of. I mean, cause I feel like he didn't deserve that BT Lifetime Achievement Award because he's not a good he's not a good businessman. 
he has not done right where his art is over the years. You know, there are a lot of good things that he done in his life that I'm not, that I'm, that that's something that me or nobody can take away from him. But was he a good businessman? No, not in my not in my opinion, he wasn't. He took advantage of a whole lot of people. He had the dream. He had dream. They had two albums with Bad Boy, but you never heard from him again. You do the math. Sometimes I do believe that bad boy is a curse. Cause it really is, man. Cause this man had a whole lot of talented people on his roster. But you never heard from again. They hot they hot this they hot this week, but they're not gonna be hot next week. They're gonna be dis they're gonna disappear. Like magic. Like poof. You're gone. You know, I'll, I don't blame Mace for being upset. But I do. I I didn't like when he mentioned that man's mother. Diddy's mother. That, that's something that you should never do. And Willie D mentions Mayor Rue remark about Kanye's mother. Which I will be making a video about that too. Like, like. Whatever you have to say about Diddy, whatever you have to say about Diddy, but please don't don't mention that man's mother. You don't mention you don't mention somebody's mother, man. That's not good, you know. But I do understand. I do understand Mace being upset and respond to Diddy about that comment he made at the Breakfast Club. But but you didn't have to mention his mother. That's something that you just don't do, you know. But did you gotta understand that you took he took advantage of a lot of people in his artists, and then Freddie P made a video saying that saying saying something about Diddy took advantage of a lot of people too. I mean, I haven't I didn't see the video that he made. A lot of y'all don't know. Freddie P from the band. He was the raspy singer. He was the rasp, raspy rapper from the group. He made a he made he made a comment about Diddy. Took advantage of a lot of people. I haven't seen that video. I haven't I have watched that video, but Diddy is not a Diddy is not a good businessman. He took advantage of a lot of people. Ruined a lot of people. And yes. There are some good things that he did in his past. You know, he donates. He donates money to. He donates money, but he also a, a not a good businessman. When it comes down to his business, he took advantage of a lot of people. Sometimes I, I wish that Diddy would understand all the bad things that he done with his artists. He should have paid his artists. You gotta pay your. You gotta start paying your artists for for everything that they for what they worth, man. Like. Brother, you got you got a lot of talented people out here, man. You destroy lives, ruin lives. Man, I just hope that I just hope and pray that he will come to his senses and try to make amends to his artist, to his former artist that he ruined lives to. You know, but ain't no telling, man. Ain't no telling what's going on. Ain't no telling what what he might do next. <laughs> but Diddy versus Mace, you know, but Mace, I don't have a problem. I mean, I don't blame Mace for being upset, and I, I don't blame Diddy for his comments saying that he was a fake pastor. You could, cause I don't, cause you ain't no telling, ain't no telling what, ain't no telling what Mace might do next. Cause he, cause Mace is the type of Mace is the type of dude like to jump ships. He wants to rap. One day and wants to be a pastor the next day. Like, you want to be a rapper or you want to be a pastor? Which one you want to do? You can't do both. But I do hope that Mace and Diddy can work out their differences, man. 
some I really hope I hope they work something out. And I hope he, I hope Diddy can work out work out some work out a deal with his former artists as well, you know, cuz sometimes you know, like like this man this man had to destroy a whole lot of lives when it comes down to his artists. He did. So that's all I have to say about the video and I will be back with, with another video sometime tomorrow or next week. God bless y'all and peace be on to y'all. Take care of yourself and each other and let today be yours. God bless y'all. One love. Peace.